Hey guys, this is Jake here at Goods, Gadgets and Gear, and no, I have not forgotten about this channel. I've just taken a summer break, and I'm back now. Do you like a cup of coffee in the morning? Or maybe a nice cup of tea when you get home from work? Or maybe some hot chocolate? Or how about a cold drink? But perhaps you're like me and you just don't drink it very fast, and then by the time you get halfway done, it's not at that really good temperature that you like. And that's a letdown, right? Well, not if you get this product. Well, this is just the mug part of the product. I got sent some information about a cooler heater that you plug in and you put your cup on it. Well, this cup especially works great. This comes with it. And it will either keep your drink cold or it'll keep your drink hot or it'll make your drink cooler or hotter, whichever way you want it. It's actually got two cooling settings and one heating setting, and I want to tell you all about it, so keep watching. So first, let's look at the mug. It's a decent looking mug. It's some kind of aluminum alloy, and it's got a handle that screws on. It says cool cup right here. If you pop that out, there's a screw that comes in there, so you can take the handle off if you wanted to. I can't see any reason why you would want to. And it's got a flat bottom. Now, this is important. This system works best if you've got a flat bottom cup or container. And so that's why this comes with it. And then there's a nice little silicone lid that you can either snap all the way on to seal it on there. Or, you know, I was just laying it on top instead of making it seal tightly, just so it'd be easier to take on and off when that time came when I wanted to have a sip or not. And that helps keep the drink fresh and hot or fresh and cool comes, you know, with your regular North American adapter plug here, and uh, there's the other end of it. So nothing special here except for it's about a meter long. The cable is about one meter long, so that's a good thing. I'm going to put that aside. It does come in very nice packaging. I won't show it all to you, but if, you know, when it arrives, it's been stable and secure. Um, there's a little bit of an instruction sheet, user guidance, so you can read that on your own comes with a little baggie as well. <clears throat> I haven't even opened this part up yet. I haven't had... Um, I guess I didn't feel like I needed to use this yet. So let's open this up. Is it just a cloth? Oh yes, it's basically a cloth. And the reason a cloth is good and I did use a cloth is because condensation can form you know, when you're cooling stuff off, condensation can form over this, and you don't want it getting, you know, running through. You can just wipe it off easily enough. Nice microfiber cloth, two-sided, so it's nice and thick. So what do we have here? Well, we've got a device that I think is probably a Peltier cooler. Now, what's a Peltier cooler? Well, it's a system, it's a little electronic chip, and what it does is, uh, one side gets hot and the other side gets cold, but really it's only doing one of those. It's always moving stuff from the cold side to the hot side, electrons basically. And so depending on which way you send electricity through it, you know, the top side will either get hot or if you send electricity through the opposite polarity, it'll get cold. And that's how this works. I first used mine back in the 1998. I bought a little Peltier cooler to put inside a computer to cool off a Intel CPU. That CPU was running at 50 megahertz. Yeah, megahertz, not gigahertz. Five zero. And I got it to raise 50% faster. I got it running at 75 megahertz just because I put one of those little Peltier coolers in there. Uh, except for I didn't count on the condensation and so we got water inside the computer and it didn't last that awful long. But I was super impressed by how those Peltier coolers work. So what we have is a fan in here with a heat sink. And so basically, depending on whichever way is drawn, it either moves air across it to take heat away or it moves air across it to take coolness away. Uh, we've got an aluminum lid on here and you know the cup sits flat on that middle section. And there you go, that's how it works. Now, I tried it with a can of pop on here you know how a can of pop is hollow on the bottom, so it just is touching around just a little thin line around the edges. 
it still worked to cool off my drink. I put a room temperature can of pop on there. And uh, 20 minutes later, it was 10 degrees Celsius cooler. So it started at 20 degrees Celsius. I brought it down to 10 degrees Celsius in 20 minutes. It's actually a little less than 20 minutes. It would go even faster if you do it like they describe. Um, you put a little bit of water in here, maybe an inch of water, and then you put your can of pop in there and you put it on here like this. And now you've got much more contact area because the water has got full contact area and it'll cool it off even faster that way. I put uh, room temperature water in here and half an hour later, I had turned the heat on and half an hour later, I was at 47 degrees Celsius. Now, 47 degrees Celsius doesn't seem that hot to us Canadians and other people that know Celsius, but it is for a drink. It's pretty warm. Uh, now, imagine if you start with a hot coffee in here and turn it on to the heat. It will definitely hold your drink hot and hotter than 40. It'll hold it way up there for you. And uh, so I just found this thing to work very, very well. It's simple. It's got uh, 18 month warranty, so a year and a half. So that's good. An extra six months over most devices. Uh, it doesn't have a tactile button here. It's got uh, this plastic and it senses your finger on there. Kind of like an LCD screen that's got finger touch sensitivity. And that's how you switch it by touching this. And there's an LED that lights up around here. Let's see if it'll show up under all these lights. Let's plug it in. So there we go, plugged it in. And um, I'm gonna turn these lights off. And uh, let's see, turn it on. Can you see that orange rim there? And listen carefully, you can hear the fan as well. It's not actually that loud when you've got it in your office, on your desk or whatever. Um, you touch it again. It goes to this turquoise blue. That's a light blue. That's to cool it. Touch it again. It goes to this bright blue. And that's the extra cold setting. So it's got those three settings. Once I've turned this on and have it sitting like this, after two hours, this light here, this LED light, turns rainbow colors of all kinds of multiple colors to remind you that your drink's been sitting here for two hours. Maybe it's time to finish it. So it's very simple, so easy to switch on and off. Voila! You've got an efficient cooling system that, oh, I turned it on again. <laughs> that not only looks cool, because it's got, you know, a nice look to it, but it's super, super functional to keep all kinds of drinks cold and hot. Can you use your ceramic mugs on here? Yes, you can. But I turned it back on again. <laughs> Let's do this, unplug it. Uh, yes, you can use your ceramic mugs on here, but the ones that have a flat bottom will work most efficiently. It'll work best. Most mugs have a rim around the outside and then they get dented in or up. And so they don't sit flat on there. It's very hard for them to make one of these that sort of got a bump in the middle because different mugs have a different amount of raised, you know, indentation in there. So there's no way to make it other than flat. And that's why they supply a, a, a mug with it. Um, very efficient. I like this. How much does it cost? Well, it's listed for $89 Canadian at $89.99 at Amazon.ca. But there's right now a button on there to click it. You get a coupon. You get $10 off immediately from your purchase. So that's $79.99 which seems like a lot of money, but if you're like me, I really hate drinking a cold drink, and I'm sure I've thrown away way more than $80 worth of coffee just in the last, well, since this calendar year. So in the last nine months or eight months, I'm sure I've thrown away way more than $80 worth of coffee just because it started getting too cold. Yeah, I can use a travel mug, but those are big and bulky and have one of those at home drinking out of it all the time. You know, that can get annoying and stuff. So when you think about it, you will save the money back from this relatively quickly through having the convenience of having a drink, the temperature you want it, when you want it. There you go. Very simple, easy to use. I like it an awful lot. So thanks for watching my video. Thanks for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing. And until next time, this is Jake saying goodbye and have a great day.